Shelly Johnstone, an interior designer from Chicago, and I'd love to give you a tour of my home. So come on in. So welcome. So the house was built in 1957, and the man who built the house built it as a wedding present for his daughter, which I kind of love. And he was living in a David Adler co-op in the city. So there's lots of David Adler influences to the spaces in this home. Um, beautiful um, plaster moldings, which I love to um, use high gloss white on all the moldings. I think it makes the moldings pop and you notice them more. And um, it's kind of a special little um, element I like to do in my projects. I also love to use the same high gloss paint on the stairs. I usually do black lacquer. And again, it just kind of highlights the staircase and makes everything pop a little bit and makes it feel a little more special. And these um, torchers I bought from Bunny Williams in New York, and I had them um, electrical put in and I ended up mirroring this wall and just kind of making the space seem a little bit larger in this kind of smaller foyer space. Mirrors are a great idea um, in any space because it actually makes the space look much larger and um, a little more light comes in as well. So this is a library in our house. It's a sweet little room and it has this beautiful black walnut um, paneling, which is just absolutely um, lovely. And I thought that it needed something on the ceiling. So about 20 years ago, I ended up painting this um, tortoise shell ceiling, uh, which is really fun. And it's got a lot of shine and just gives the room a little more light and um, depth. And I ended up um, using this beautiful tortoise shell box. I collected tortoise shell boxes when I lived in London. And this one had these wonderful quadrants on it. So we ended up using the quadrants from this box and this plan and ended up, that was the um, format for the ceiling. And then um, I also love this. This is a backgammon table that I took a table, converted it into this lovely backgammon table for my husband, who's an avid player. And I use this Hermes leather on the top and it's just a great gift and um, a lovely addition to the room and it gets used a lot. I also love Schnick's rattan um, with upholstered pieces, painted furniture, and um, I think it just kind of gives the room um, a little uh, less formality, and I've been doing this for years. I, I've always loved rattan, and um, it's something I've been using in my interiors for many years. The next room we're gonna visit is the living room, and you come, come into the living room through these beautiful embrasure doors, um, which are this lovely paneling. And this was an element that David Adler used um, throughout his interiors. They're just really lovely. And we ended up copying this um, when we did the addition and renovations in the rest of the house. Um, it's just a lovely detail and um, just very special. So, so welcome. So the living room, I ended up decorating about 20 years ago and there's not much that's been changed. Um, I ended up changing out the rug. I had a very formal Obisun rug that I ended up switching out for this um, one that I had made. Um, I love the Greek key design motif and you'll see it throughout the house. And it's got a cleaner, simpler um, look to it. And I worked with Stark to create this rug and I think it works really well in the space. I also um, have these beautiful French Berger chairs that I bought at auction along with a lot of the antiques in the room. Um, and when I lived in London, and I love mixing kind of the um, antiques with the cleaner lines. And this is a coffee table I designed. Um, it's got a Parson table design. We lacquered a chocolate brown, which is my favorite color. And it's a great simple piece that um, is fabulous for playing games on and serving hors d'oeuvres and just very simple, but clean. And I think it um, helps to update the space a little bit so it's not so fussy. This next space is my favorite room in the house, the solarium. So again, another set of embrasure doors that are kind of lined up on this axis, which is really special because it lets the light in. And this room is both my favorite room in both the winter months and the summer months. Um, in the winter, we have this wonderful Indiana limestone heated floor that gets really cozy. We light the fire and it's just a great spot. And then when it starts to get nice out, like it is here in Chicago today, we have all these cremone bolts on the windows and the doors and everything opens up beautifully to the terrace and the outdoors and it's really quite lovely because you really let the outside in and you kind of feel like you're outside. It's a really lovely spot. So we also have um, the, um, I also used um, kind of painted rattan mixed in with um, the furnishings and I 
recently switched out the sofa maybe five years ago or so. Um, I had a very traditional sofa, and again, I just replaced it with kind of crate and barrel, something very simple, comfortable, easy, and just kind of updated the space a little bit. Um, I love these coffee tables. I found these garden gates at the Botanic Garden Show years ago, and I ended up having legs added and the glass tops, and I think they make wonderful coffee tables, and they have the Greek key um, motif again um, on the, the pattern. And the ceiling, we ended up lacquering the ceiling, and I think it creates more depth and a lot more light comes into the room and just makes it a little more fun. And these glorious flowers are from, uh, it's really important right now to support our local businesses. And these are from a local florist um, who I adore. It's um, M on the Square, and she's my neighbor, which is my design studio, is just a couple blocks away. So these are just beautiful and kind of made my day. So thank you, Missy, they're gorgeous. Next, we're going to see the dining room, and again, another set of embrasure doors upon the entrance. And this room is really fun. I um, ended up reupholstering these walls about a year ago. I had this um, orange fortuny fabric for years on the walls and just wanted to change. And so we added this blue and white, just fun um, fabric. It just kind of updated the space, made it fun. It goes with everything. It's very versatile. And I love the tape detail, and we did the double welts along the edge. And again, the high gloss white moldings, and it just is really pretty space. Um, love this storage. This is original to the house. And there's these wonderful, um, there's one on both sides. And it holds all of my crystal. And it's really accessible and easy to grab things for the table, for the dining room, the kitchen, and also out on the terrace. So again, really easy, um, kind of no excuse not to set a beautiful table, and everything's right here. And um, Great storage. So this is a trellis room, and we had the trellis custom made for the space. I think it's really lovely. Um, we also have this beautiful um, architectural detail around all the doors with the mirror. And this is um, this little detail was something I saw in the Plaza at Nain, Paris years ago. And I also ended up having it on um, this clothing business I had. It was on a lot of the designs, so it kind of is special to me and brings back a lot of memories. Um, again, another set of embrasure doors going into the dining room, and we ended up doing the banquet in the same fabric as the dining room walls, so we keep the spaces cohesive and working together, because we do use this room a lot as an overflow room when we entertain. So we'll set up a big round table, and um, when we have large dinner parties, we can have both spaces working together, so it really works out well. We also have this pretty blue lacquered ceiling, and it's um, Benjamin Moore, Breath of Fresh Air, if anybody wants to know. I think it's really pretty. And I had an orange kind of Hermes ceiling before, and I just switched it over to the blue, and I think it's really subtle and pretty. And it's really nice because the pool area and the gardens are right outside, and we kind of use both spaces um, working together. This next little space is um, our kind of breakfast nook, and I'm right now using it as my workspace um, when I'm working at home. So I left everything as it was so you could see actually how it looks. And um, it's a nice little space. We have, um, again, like I've spoke about before, this great storage, and everything's very accessible for grabbing things and setting a table and making things really easy. And I'm all about just having organization things being really easy, making your life um, less complicated. And again, then you want to set a table and you make things beautiful. So we have it on this side and we ended up um, doing the same on the other side. And it was very simple. We added these molding pieces and, um, it's, and added the mirror detail inside. It's a very easy thing to do. And um, I think it's quite lovely. And this um, long hat was from a show house that I did years ago and it's, um, a fabric Mark Sykes did for Schumacher, and it's just a great um, stripe. I love it, and there's Schumacher pillows on it as well, and um, just kind of a timeless, um, fun piece, and I think it works really well in this little breakfast nook. Also took um, this from the show house I did as well, and it's just a um, framed um, from a towel wallpaper panel, and it's framed in this beautiful bamboo um, frame. It's, it's really lovely. and. Um, we also um, really excited about uh, the collaboration with Schumacher and Machuk and just got this. And so just looking over the samples now, but really beautiful. So excited to take a look at that later. So thanks again for visiting and um, everybody stay safe and um, love you all.